Good evening to you, Tamsin and Corey. This is the largest Jewish worship space in the world. At Temple Emmanuel, the Cardinal and the Rabbi came together to pray for an end to the escalation in anti-Jewish hate crimes. Since the 11-day war between Israel and the Islamic militant group Hamas in the Gaza Strip, the number of anti-Semitic incidents in the United States and here in New York City have increased at an alarming rate. And that is why the Catholic Archbishop of New York, Cardinal Timothy Dolan, says he reached out to Rabbi Joshua Davidson to stand with the Jewish community at Shabbat services. And for all of us here tonight, bewilderment and fear in a time of rising anti-Semitism. Just this week, the NYPD arrested three men they believe responsible for assaulting two Jewish teenagers in Kensington and threatening four men going into a Borough Park synagogue last Saturday night. Also this week, a second man was arrested for allegedly assaulting a Jewish man while making anti-Semitic statements during rival pro-Israel and pro-Palestinian protests in Midtown. The recent hate crimes and vitriol shown against you my esteemed elder brothers and sisters in the faith is frightening, deplorable, nauseating. Oh, the Jewish community always seems to bear the brunt historically and right now. In New York City, anti-Semitic hate crime complaints are clearly on the rise, with 80 so far this year compared to 62 for the same time period last year. Worshippers tonight said coming together to pray can help. Cardinal Dolan is magnificent. I was here last year when he came to the temple. He's the city's one of the city's biggest spiritual advisors. He's very well respected. We all love him. I thought it was great and a very moving ceremony. Will it make a difference? Hopefully it will. People coming together is an important thing. Cardinal Dolan has been to Shabbat services here at Temple Emmanuel several times before tonight, and he promised tonight is not the last time. From Temple Emmanuel in Manhattan, McGee Hickey, PIX11 News. Back to you, Tamsin and Corey.